Did you know you can track referrals inside of HubSpot using association labels? Well, I'm gonna show you how in today's HubSpot hack. I get asked all the time by my clients, Will, can we track referrals inside of HubSpot? And if we can, what's the best way to do it? And now that we have contact to contact or same object association, I always say the best way is to use that with association labels. So let's hop into HubSpot and set this up. First thing you wanna do is obviously log in. And once you're in there, click the gear icon up towards the top right to get to your settings. Then on the left-hand side, you'll wanna scroll down to data management and then click the objects drop down to go to contacts. So for this example, I'm gonna be showing you contact to contact referrals. We'll wanna to go to the top navigation and click associations. And by default, it takes you to your contact to company association labels. You can see I've already created a couple. We just wanna click this um, this gray box up here towards the top right and change this to be contact to contact associations because that's how we're going to track our referrals today. So you can see I've already created a couple association labels. One is already for besties. The other one is for my referral sources that we're going to be playing around with today. If you haven't created it yet, just click on the right hand side to create a new association label. Now that I've got my association label created, I can actually edit the label limits and what people are allowed to assign inside of HubSpot. So I'm going to hover over my referral source here click to edit limit, and then we can edit these settings. So the first one is how many contacts can actually be labeled as referral source. So by default, this will be set to many, but that means that one person can be referred many times. So if you're right with that, then you can leave it as many. Personally, I think that once someone is referred, they should only be allowed to be referred once, right? They're inside your HubSpot. So I changed that to just one. One person is allowed one referral source. But when it terms to, comes to referrals given, obviously you can accept many referrals coming from the same person. So that one we set to many contacts can have a label of referral. So you can see now one contact can only have one referral source, but referral sources can give you many referrals. So once we're happy with this, just click the save button down here. If you're actually doing this live, it'll be orange. You can click to save it. And then we can start playing around with our association labels. So the first thing we wanna do is go to a contact inside of HubSpot. So we'll go to my record. And on the right hand side, it might be a little bit different for you, but if you wanna change it, you can just click these little buttons here and drag it. But we have our associated contacts right here inside of our HubSpot portal. So I'm gonna click the add button. And then I have the option to create a brand new contact from scratch, or I can search from existing contacts. So I am going to use an existing contact. So I'm going to say that I have Ben and also Sawyer here at SimpleStrat uh, are going to be my referrals. I'm going to click next and I'm going to edit the association label for each one. So when I click on Ben, I want to click the labels that Ben is going to be my referral. And once I set that up, it shows you the way that you're actually setting this up to make sure you're doing it correctly. So it shows Will the Perry will be the referral source. Ben is the referral. And we want to do the same thing here for Sawyer, that Sawyer will be the referral and I will be the referral source. So we're going to save that. And now we can see I have two contacts here as my referrals. Again, that is a one-to-many association. I have multiple referrals that I've given. Um, and if we click into one of these records, let's click into Ben. On the right-hand side, we can see Ben only has one referral source. So clicking back to me, Say I was also referred by somebody else. I can also click into add another referral. And let's do Jack Dawson. Next, and say that Jack was the person who referred me. We want to make him the referral source. We'll see I was the referral and Jack was the referral source. So I'll click save. And now on my record here, you can see I came from Jack Dawson and then I gave two other contacts. So, and also based on the limits that I said earlier, if I try to add another person here as my referral source, you'll see that label is already in use. I can't add another referral source to this contact. Now that we've got our association labels set up, you can now organize your contacts together by referrals, by referral sources. Let's actually use this inside our HubSpot to create some properties that we could use to build some reports and also use it in some workflows. So say I wanna run a report on how many referrals somebody's given how much revenue that's actually led to. I can actually do that in HubSpot through some calculated properties. So I'm gonna click the gear icon up here and I wanna to go to contacts again and then manage contact properties. And I'm gonna create a property and we're gonna call this number of referrals given. We'll put the 
group that this is contact information. We'll say that this is a calculation. And instead of custom equation, we want this one to be a count because we're counting the number of referrals given. And the record type is going to be contact to contact. So we want to count the number of contacts associated with the association label of referral. And then we have to pick a property that where it only counts if this property is known. Everyone in HubSpot has a record ID. So we're going to choose record ID. And then say I also wanted to take this a little further and only count the number of referral customers that this person's given or a number of referrals that turned into customers. I could also create that condition here and say only count the people with a lifecycle stage that equals customer. So I'm going to delete that condition and just say, I just want to count the number of, number of referrals we're getting and click create. And then I could also do another property for um, referral revenue. So if I do that for contact information, so this will be calculating how much revenue this person's brought us from the referrals, make this another calculated property. And this one will be a sum because we're going to be counting up a bunch of numbers. The formatted number will change to be currency. The record type is still contact to contact. Association labels, we only want referrals. And the property that we're going to be counting is going to be revenue. So in HubSpot, when a deal is won, that number is rolled up into that contact for total revenue. And we want to count contact to contact total revenue, right? As long as there's the association label. So we'll do total revenue here. And then we can click create. So let's go back to that contact that I was setting up some referrals from before. This one here. We'll click actions and then view all properties. And then you can search for number of referrals given. And now that number is two. So if I click into the details, we can see HubSpot calculation. This person's brought us two referrals. So one last thing I'm going to show you is how to use these referral labels inside of workflows here. So on the left hand side, I'm going to go to automations and then workflows and then create a new workflow from scratch. So this will be a contact-based workflow. And let's actually set up an email to the person who gave us the referral when the referral becomes a customer. So we'll give our referral a name, email to thank referrals. Contacts become customers. And our trigger will be when a contact lifecycle stage becomes customer. We'll click save. And when we click the plus sign here, we can then send an email and we can choose to do what you're most common, most commonly used to is sending it to the enrolled contact, but instead we're going to send it to the associated contact with the label for referral source. And then we can just choose our email here. You know, I don't actually have one. We'll do our birthday email, but I don't have one written for actually thinking for referrals. And we'll click save. And then whenever that referral becomes a customer, an automated email will go out to that referral source, thanking them for that referral, letting them know they became a customer. Maybe there's some sort of rewards program that you have, or it's just a simple thank you. Um, and remember, you'd also need to make sure this person would be set as a marketing contact if I want to add that in here as well. If you're using marketing contacts, I can do that here by searching for set marketing contact status as marketing contact. Awesome. So that's how you set up referral tracking inside of HubSpot, association labels, some properties, a little workflow hack that I hope that you like. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to get all the latest and greatest HubSpot hacks. Thanks for watching. Happy HubSpotting.